Hey, good morning. Saints man, small van driver on the CX. Just a quick one. It's Wednesday. It's just gone 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm in Sumbri on Thames, right by the Thames. It's just down there. I'll we'll take a video outside, but it's just started raining. I'm picking up just up there at 12 o'clock. I've had a question asked me, which I'm probably not the best person to answer. I can give my opinion, but it's a question on who asked on my last video, the smart investor. He's looking to come onto the CX. He's based in London and he's wondering what the best areas are uh, and what's the best way to start, I think, in London. Um, actually, funny enough, I'm in London and he's looking for hints, I think, how to help make it pay, I suppose, in London. My interpretation is just my, I come to London. I do come to London quite a bit and I always find trouble. I don't like working in London. I either come in London, like I've come to London this morning, uh, down to Stratford and Seven Oaks, and then I've come into Hampton and uh, Lower Sunbury to pick up to Cambridge. So I'm going straight out of London. But if he's looking to work in London, this is just what I think. It may be wrong. I'm hoping someone will see this and be able to help him more and answer his question on my channel. I don't know. But you don't price jobs in London by the miles you do, because you will be skint. You'll never make a penny. In fact, you'll lose stacks of money. Because seven miles in London ain't going to take you 10 minutes. It ain't going to take you an hour. It could take you two hours. You've got to be aware of areas that are just a no-go. There's hot spots and there's traffic, Marylebone Road, anywhere around sort of London. In the congestion zone, I've been in a few times. In, right in the middle and once you get in the congestion zone because of this 15 quid or whatever 12 quid you have to pay I've been okay, but round that outer bit of the congestion zone. It's just yeah, it's carnage Pricing jobs you definitely do it by how long you think the job's going to take you And also the time of day is another thing I would think is important if you've got jobs at 8 30 in London in the middle It's carnage. It's rush hour it's rush hour pretty much all the time, but them times, it's carnage. To get to Stratford this morning, I left home at quarter five. I had a 7.30 tip. It was an hour and a half on my sat-nav, and I still got there at seven o'clock. And that was before the traffic kicked in. So it took me two and a quarter hours to do 80 mile. But that's that's without the traffic, really. There's, there's still a build-up. Anywhere around Canary Wharf, Blackwall Tunnel, around there, I think it's a nightmare. Especially rush hour morning and the rush hour in the evening. There's a lot of jobs going. Obviously, I'm in London. Rush hour in the evening is it's for, well, it's not. It's all day, but at three thirty onwards to six o'clock, no, nah, it's just a and no, no. The van I'd get if I was in London is exactly what I'm sat in right now. It's Euro six, so you don't pay the ULES, but I would still charge the companies because I've bought this van. I paid extra to buy this van, and I would still say, yeah. I, I, pay that put the ULEZ on as well um but it does help having a ULEZ 6 because you only pay in the middle bit congestion zone i would get if i was in london i've got it anyway i'm not in london i'll get a congestion um credit account you get a congestion account so it automatically takes it out of your bank you haven't got to remember oh shit i've got to go and pay that congestion because you only get 24 hours so you've got to be on the ball so you're better off having a account and they you put £10 at a time. When they use it, they'll, your bank tops the, the congestion up. It, another £10 goes out. Uh, and then you get a, it, it comes down. You click on the account and you just print it off. So you've got receipts. And get a dart tag, which is a London... It covers London and it covers, a, I think, more all the sort of bridges. I can't remember now, but again, I've, I've done dart. I've got a dart tag over Dartford Bridge and it's £2.60 I think if you've got a dart tag instead of three quid I, you may, I may be wrong but that's it I wouldn't go no more in a small van I really wouldn't I wouldn't even go for a mid wheel base or anything like that I'd just stick with a small van because I think the small vans in London is the way forward and it gets your jobs out of London at a cheaper price maybe prices going out of London are going out cheap they really are going out cheap in the afternoon because a lot of drivers come down to London in the morning. There's a lot of work comes to London and not a lot of work goes out of London. 
what that creates is a lot of drivers sitting there wanting to get home, don't want to tramp, and they'll do it for peanuts. I've seen jobs, they go out of London, 40 pence, just to get out. They'll, they'll, they'll quote 40p. I've seen it. I've, 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 shippers told me, and I've no reason to disbelieve him because I know the shipper saying, I'm getting jobs out of London, 40 pence going out of London because drivers, they, got, they, they want to get home, they'll just do it. So getting out of London in the afternoon, I think that's going to be a bit difficult. But that's just what I think. I'm hoping there's someone on here on this who subscribes to my channel who will be able to answer the question better than me or perhaps works more in London. Uh, it'll perhaps be able to help him out. Um, I suddenly, it's not for me. I think it's got to be a young person's um, shooting around London all the while. Cause, and you've got to know London pretty well. I know London all right, but you've got to know it a bit better than me. Parking is a nightmare in London. Get yourself, if you've got a van, get yourself magnetic, um, for the side of the van, signs that you can keep inside the van. But when you're in London, whack them on the van and hopefully park on and just tell them you're doing medical stuff that's emergency and do that. I've even got a courier thing. I've got that, that that goes in the front of my van as well. So I cover all bases, hopefully. I haven't been pinched for parking. Another place, another thing that I found is you got to be careful where you drive as well. You can't go into the Rotheride Tunnel. I found that out to my cost, 60 quid. Uh, it's it's just residential only. Just stupid sat nav took me there. I weren't concentrating. I was coming out, I don't know, late afternoon. And I got a ticket. You pay it. You know, there's no excuse. And driving in certain lanes in London. There's so many bus lanes, bloody taxi bikes. There's residence lanes. Oh, it's, yeah. I hope I'm not putting you off, smart investor. But you need to know everything about it. Hope I help. My little bit of knowledge ain't going to help you too much. But I'm hoping someone else is will. So I've got to crack on. Hope you're having a good day. I'll speak soon.